Yo, what's up everyone? Project Moto here. I'm just going down to Ducati Chelmsford today having a look at a part for a bike. It's not even a bike that we're going to look at. It's one part and it's nearly 11 grand. Yeah, for one part. Just one item, one thing, one part of the bike. 11,000 pounds. Right, so here it is. What's in the box? Let's have a look and have a look at that while you're here. Looks like something out of Raiders of the Lost Ark or something. Let's have a look. Exciting, isn't it? Right, let's get this out. Here it is, the Super Legera swing arm, carbon fibre. Look at this. Look at this, man. It's so light. Now this, if it was for your Super Legera, if you ever have an accident on it, or if you wanted to put one on your 1299 Panigale, this would cost you 10,600 pound. That's not fitted, that's the price of it. So I'm wondering whether this is one of the dearest single parts, well it's certainly the dearest single part I've ever seen anyway. So that was a super legera swing arm. I mean, 10,600 quid. That is crazy money for one single part, especially for like a production bike. It's quite a lot of money. I've since found out that there is a dearer part out there, and that's for the V4 Panigale super legera. Um, that's 11,900 pound for the swing arm for that. Uh, so if you want one of them for your V4 as an upgrade you better start saving your pennies now anyway guys let me know in the comments what you think or if you know of any more expensive production parts uh, for bikes I mean uh, that sort of money it's a similar price to an actual bike so it's going to be hard push to find another part as always guys thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it if this is the kind of thing you're into all things bikes then maybe think about hitting that subscribe button and uh, i'll see you again soon thanks very much for watching come on hurry up and boil i don't like it. i don't like uh, buying trainers so it's very tough it is the toughest i have had such a fucking time it made me ill buying a pair of trainers made me ill they should have counselling for trainers it's been a bane of my life, fighting up my head. Has it? Yeah. Wow. You've got history of it, have you? History? Uh, it's just one of them things. What was the best the best bike you ever bought? Easy, we bought classics because they fit my feet from when I was like 10 years old. What, the same size? Same size. <laughs> I had big feet when I was 10. Yeah, there wasn't a choice of trainers then, was there? No, it's quite a yesterday, the colours. <laughs> the colours. You know, I felt like that woman in that LSD. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You know how she was talking about? Yeah. If you can't see yeah. it, I feel sorry for you. Yeah. I was sitting there like in a trance looking at the trainers. And then just at the side of them, <laughs> at the side of my eye, these shoes come past me. <laughs> they was probably that big. Those size 14 or 15. Really? This Nike shoe come past me. What, did it take a while to pass? It was almost slow motion. It was white, it had like an orange tick, yellow bit round, but they looked like they was made of foam. Sure you didn't take shoes. some out here, let's do it. <laughs> I looked up, like that, to look up at the geezer. Yeah. He must have been he was a seven giant. foot, saying. Fuck it. No. <laughs> Imagine how small I looked, I looked like a child in there. This is a real experience, this. Oh, no wonder I had to go home and have a sleep. <laughs> I had to sleep, I had a headache, all over some trainers. I see a man that was so big. <laughs> <laughs> it made me feel like a child. Now I'm back to that child, the man with a child in his eyes. Yeah. That was him looking at me. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I can't take it anything. no more. I just can't take it no more. 
But, you know, it's you've got to face your fears sometimes. Sounds like you did yesterday. It took it out of me, to be honest. I was actually, how would I describe myself? Whacked out. Whacked out. <laughs> See, you thought people like Thorpey, they don't understand. He'll just go and buy a random green pair of trainers. Which I'll end up with. <laughs> Who's trying to come in? Always oh, coming in there. Well, this is the only place you can hide in here and not be on camera. That's why. Well, well technically. <laughs> <laughs>